Hello everybody, my name is OXFU, and welcome to just something I whipped together last night, uh, because one thing that I find disappointing about Minecraft is OX Girlfu actually has quite a hard time playing it because she's not used to playing video games at all because she never really she never played them as a kid like aside from a few uh, computer games but um, the first person view actually doesn't really work with her because she gets motion sick. Um, now I don't know if this is a big issue with a lot of other people um, trying to get their significant others into gaming <laughs> or whatnot uh, but I find this has been a problem and last night I was actually reading an article about the difference between integrated and discrete graphics cards or graphics chips and one of the things the things that stuck out to me is that they were talking about how the field of view is one of the things that is that affects quality um, especially because a lot of games nowadays when they're ported over to PC it's from the console version and they don't have field of view controls and one of the things that they put that they were talking about with field of view is that usually a larger field of view helps with uh, motion sickness and with I, I guess with console games you don't have as much of an issue because you're usually set farther back from the screen but with uh, PC games, well, computer games especially, it's a lot more important to have a larger field of view because you're closer to the screen, so there's a much greater risk of peop of your customers getting motion sick. Um, so basically what I've been doing in this video is you can set see that I set the uh, field of view to 90 degrees, which the standard human field of view is, I believe, 100 degrees. But about like 10% of, or like 10 degrees of that is peripheral vision. So um, I set it down to 90. But as you can see, like from the sides and corners especially, that a lot of the issue that I was dealing with was making sure that it still looks like Minecraft and not like you were looking at Minecraft through a fisheye lens. Um, but I believe with the 90 degree field of view, I think that I've gotten... A balance between it looking like regular Minecraft and having a large field of view. So basically what I'm going to be doing in this video is just going through caves and stuff, just having a normal Minecraft experience because I'm going to show this to OX Girlfu and see what she thinks about it, like if she does get motion, or if she does start to feel motion sickness or not. Um, because I, I think it's a really good game and I think she would enjoy it. Well, she already, she already has tried it, and she did enjoy it to a certain extent, it's just that she couldn't play it for more than, like, 15 minutes or something, because she started getting motion sick. So if this 90 degree field of view helps, all the better. I actually do like um, the 90 degree field of view a bit, too, because, as I was saying about the fisheye, it doesn't really show up as much here um, as it was with a 100 degree view. Which I'm not. I, I'm not really seeing whether it's it's doing the fisheye effect from the center. If it's just starting around the edges, um, I'm not really sure about that. Um. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think this is where I, I saw the two sticks drop, and I was like, "Oh, I must have just." not picked up the pickaxe and not noticed it was in my inventory. I do that a lot in case you're being, in case you've been uh, paying attention in Odd Quad, uh, where I just throw things on the ground and of course here I'm just being stupid and not putting myself in front of the uh, crafting bench to knock it over. I'm also not using an axe. Ugh. Um... But yeah, like, I, I, I don't really have much more to say about the the issue, because it's not really an issue. I mean, it's just something that I noticed, and I figured I'd make a video to show Oaks Girlfu, and I figured while I am... While I am making the video, I might as well commentate on it, and I might as well release it to the rest of you, just because I think it's cool. Um... 
Like, I never knew about the field of view design and motion sickness. Like, I, I never really understood the need for a wider field of view than the, like, 60 degrees, I think it is, that usually are afforded in games. Um, oh, crap, I remember this guy. <laughs> Yes, I've been playing with Elemental Creepers. <laughs> but, um... And I know that 90% of computer games are also just ported over from Xbox 360 or PlayStation 3. Um, the exceptions being... Uh... Well, stuff that are... Stuff that's developed primarily for... PC, like Diablo 3, is PC exclusive. Like, they're thinking about a Xbox 360 version, I believe? Maybe? I don't remember. But for right now, it's only PC exclu exclusive. Also, things like everything that Valve puts out. Like, not everything that you can get on Steam, of course, but everything that Valve produces. Um, just because they've always had that model to develop it for PC first and then worry about ports later. Um. Um, um, um. <laughs> I think pretty soon I set it back to 100 degrees because I realized that I'm just going through this cave at 90 degrees and, and figuring, oh, this will be fine instead of, you know, actually checking out the other setting um, to see if that would work as well. Because honestly, I'm not going to... Like, I don't see the point in going above 100 degrees because the fisheye effect is... you can It's, it's very noticeable in a, at 100 degrees. Um, it's not as noticeable here. Which I'm actually kind of liking this myself, the 90 degrees. I might end up using it for other videos if I decide to do that. Uh... Oh, it's nice. That's all. <laughs> like, I don't know why I like it because it, it's. I, I don't really have a side by side comparison right now. That would be really cool if I did, but obviously I can't just go through and find the same exact route at, um, that I went through this cave. Well, I probably could, but shut up. I'm being lazy. <laughs> uh. I've already recorded one video, and this isn't supposed to be anything official, so I don't want to put any work into it. Uh, and of course I have to run into more elemental creepers. I think I run into like three water creepers around here, like in a row. I think this first one I actually take care of. Yeah, but the other two I just, I'm like, you know what, they're water creepers. Screw this, I just want to get on with this. Yep, here we go, field of view, 100 degrees. And like, as you can see, it's still pretty decent, but you can start to see um, the elongation of blocks around the edges because it does look like you're peering through a peephole or a fisheye lens. Which I mean, could... It kind of looks cool because you're delving deep into holes in this in this game, but it doesn't really... It's It's distracting, that's the main issue. I mean, it's not as bad here as it is when it's... Uh, I think the, the max you can go for with Minecraft is 120 degrees, which they call Quake Pro. Um, which that act that does become quite distracting, because you, you feel like every time you're turning, you're taking a step back, or something like that. I, I don't... I don't know how to describe the, the feeling of turning with a high field of view. Um, <laughs> I think that's a, that, I think that is that is a good explanation of what it feels like uh, turning and taking a step back. Uh, just because it feels like things are getting larger, or maybe turning and taking a step half a step forward, because it feels like things are getting larger but also smaller at the same time. So it's really weird. Honestly, I thought I'd have more more things to talk about about this video. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, and here I'm just checking. 
I think it was checking my depth and also my frames per second because I wanted to. Uh, one of the things about uh, field of view and why and the integrated versus discrete graphics article that they were talking about is you're going to start seeing a lot more games with integrated graphics because uh, oh, because a lot of PC games are being developed uh, from as ports from console games and console games are running on uh, six year hardware at this point or more than that um, older than six year hard <laughs> hardware uh, there's really no point a lot of the time in having very powerful graphics like you, t you can still play like you can still play Skyrim on a fairly weak graphics card to give a good for to get give a good example um, of a game that everybody knows that has been ported from console to PC one of the which means that you're starting to see a lot and a lot more integrated graphics that work well with games. Also, I die here. And I end the video. Um, but... Yeah, I didn't know there was... I didn't really notice the hole. But, uh, oh yes, at this point I also show you guys, this is the Minecraft pa uh, texture pack I've been using because people have been asking me. Plethora T884. So, there you go. Um, what was I talking about? Integrated graphics versus discrete graphics. Uh, no, it's just interesting to see that integrated graphics are becoming more and more gameplay worthy than just being looked down upon. Like, they're still looked down upon because they're not as good, of course, but... You can play games like Team Fortress 2 and stuff like that on integrated graphics. I mean, oh, what I was actually talking about is the reason that they cut down field of view for most PC games now because they're ported from console games is because field of view, you have to render more pixels uh, because you're basically widening the scope of the of the virtual camera that shows the player's point of view. And with each pixel, there's, of course, more there's more processing power that has to go into rendering the graphics itself and especially I, I i noticed i don't know about the fish islands effect that uh was in that that video for that high uh field of view but it might cost more graphics processing power in order to create that fact uh, that effect like i don't i don't know if that's just a side effect of widening widening the field of view or if that's an actual visual effect that they're putting into minecraft so hope you enjoy i'm glad you enjoyed it if you did it's not one of my fun videos <laughs> like again it's not a let's play and it's not it's not a let's play let's do random crap with ox foo that is fun <laughs> uh this is just a video I whipped up because I, I was looking at something last night, so I figured why I'm recording it anyway to show OX Girl Fu. I might as well commentate it on commentate on it this morning. So if you guys enjoyed it, that's great. But if you didn't, whatever. <laughs> you don't have to watch this video, so I don't know what I'm. And recording. <laughs>